Good girl. Come round, sweetheart. Come round. Good girl. Good girl. Stand. Good girl. Hello, everybody. As many of you know, this is Gossamer. She is uh, a warhorse in training. And one of the things I don't have for her yet is a medieval saddle, a sort of late 15th century medieval saddle. So recently I measured her up and uh, sent off to a specialist and I have a draft saddle, if you like. I have a saddle before it's covered in all the fancy stuff. Uh, it's come back to me and I've got to try it on and see how it rides. So um, let's just see how it goes when I put it on her. to protect a horse's back and skin, especially with something new. Oh, she's gonna eat, aren't you? Well, there you go, never mind. Stand there. Right. This has got all the classic components of a medieval saddle. Uh, it's got the front uh, plate and the rear ears and all the balancing and padding and weight distribution you'd expect but it is in a very raw state it's not finished so uh, that's probably sensible because we've got to try it on for fit and if it doesn't fit we will have to modify it but if it does fit it can go back and then it can be covered in all the fancy stuff that makes a high status late medieval saddle so let's see how it goes it goes on this way round good girl front of the saddle shouldn't impact on her shoulder blades at all. She's got to be able to move, so it sits quite nicely just behind them there. There's no pressure on her spine at all. And she's happily eating away and doesn't seem to be particularly worried. So let's attach, let's attach the girth. I have no idea whether this is gonna be the right length. Attach the girth and see what happens. Good girl. A new saddle is always a bit odd because it's just unfamiliar. Goes on. She's doing very well. She's standing still and eating, eating an extra ration of hay. Good girl. It's always sensible. Eat when you can, not when you must, eh? Right, this is going to be interesting. This is the time when you suddenly start to fix things onto the horse and pressure starts to come down because this thing is quite tight. So let's see. One. Two. So the interesting thing here is the modern girth, the strapping to the saddle would go in a parallel line here. So this girth is a modern girth and it's Come on, eat your hay over here. Good girl. Good girl, stand. So this is interesting in itself. So I'm gonna to have to tighten this up more than I expected. This of course will all be covered by leather when it's finally finished, but for now, I think that's going to impact on my leg, so I am going to adjust it on the other side as well. Good girl. There is lots of space. You can see daylight through, so there's no weight on her spine whatsoever. And the cushions are quite wide and nicely separated, so they shouldn't put any pressure. If they were too narrow, they might put pressure on the spine, but they're quite nice and wide because she's quite wide backed. Just 
feeling with my fingers, I can feel that there aren't any clear hollow bits. So it is more or less following the uh, line of her spine. It, it, it should do, the line of her back. It should do, because it's made to measure, but you never quite know. And obviously things will change as it settles in, but uh, that looks pretty good. Right. Proof of the pudding is in the riding of the horse, as the old saying doesn't go. So I will try to get on her in the arena, somewhere where it's nice and safe and enclosed, and she's very familiar with. Good girl. I have no idea if my stirrups, they look a bit long actually. I'll just put them up. Good girl, right. I will try to get on her for the first time. This is always a little nerve wracking because you're never sure how the piece of equipment is going to function, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be okay. Good girl, walk on. Good girl, stand. Good girl. Stand. Stand, sweetheart. Stand, sweetheart. Good girl. Yeah, as I thought, these, this buckle, actually not the back one, but the front one is going to interfere currently with my stirrup leather. You can see it's actually catching and my knee is going to be, that feels really good though. It does feel like a good saddle. That's wonderful. Uh, the only problem with the medieval saddle is when you want to check your girth, you've got to lean forwards and you've got this in the way. You really do need staff when you're a medieval knight. Uh, uh, good girl. Right, I'm just going to go and walk around in it and see how it performs. Good girl. She seems very comfortable. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. That's incredibly comfortable. The thing with the medieval saddle is it supports you a little bit more, rather than being shaped like that, fairly flat, like a modern English saddle, it's a bit more sloping. So it actually fills the gap between your legs quite nicely. So you can pretty much, as I'm doing here, stand in the stirrups without standing in the stirrups. So I've got some of my weight in the stirrups, quite a lot of it actually, and some of it on her back directly through the seat. These come right round as you can see, they fit quite well, they come right round and give you a lot more support on the back here. You can see how Bending back <clears throat> or going sideways would be supported by those. I think it feels, the girth feels very loose. <clears throat> when you get used to equipment, you know exactly where it should go to attach itself properly, but a new piece of kit like this you just never quite know, so you've got to be a bit cautious. I'm sitting in it, stationary, for a while, just to let it bed down a little bit and let her get used to it. There doesn't seem to be anything wrong, so I shall go for a bit more of a walk around. Good girl, come on, walk on. Good girl. Good girl. 
Electric Cow. Come on. Oh. She's slightly confused because my weight distribution is very different than my modern Spanish saddle for her. So she's a little bit more, or well, a little bit less forward going, a little bit more nervous about, uh, I don't even think she's nervous. She's just, just slightly worried, I suppose, or slightly confused is a better word, uh, about the new type of feeling on her back. But I do think it feels good, for me anyway. So she'll get used to this. You can see how protective these front plates are. You can see how much protection your thighs would get from somebody attacking you here, and how much protection your lower torso would get. Basically, that's on my belly button. So everything below the belly button is behind this substantial piece of wood. Uh, I don't think pretty much anything is gonna get through that, maybe bullets. Um, but uh, yeah. Quite pleased with that. I'm going to go a little bit faster still. Good go. I think this saddle is genuinely very different for her. Good go. I think she likes it. She's just not quite used to it. It's just different. Good. I think that's probably enough for her. Um, it's probably enough for the saddle. The saddle fits me nicely, feels very comfortable. Interesting, this movement, as I've said in another episode, you can imagine if you fall forward, this would go straight into your guts and do damage. And uh, you can see how close you are actually to it. So it is quite dangerous. If you're wearing armor, of course, nothing's gonna happen. But if you're not in armor, one could imagine impacting forwards. Unfortunately, that was right under the rib cage. That would go right up into your sternum and into your lungs. So maybe it doesn't actually go into your guts. Maybe it goes into your sternum and underneath your rib cage. So, yes, poor old Duke William of Normandy. Right, anyway, on that uh, slightly grim note, I'm gonna get off her and uh, send this back to have the saddle finished. Right. The other problem with these saddles is getting off them. You have to make sure all your clothing is unhooked from here, because this is very embarrassing if it gets hooked on anything, like a male skirt or any kind of clothing gets hooked on. Um, and it's quite high, so, and this is quite high, so you've actually got to get up and out. You can't just slide off like you can an English saddle. You've actually got to get up and off. So uh, let me try it. Good girl, hey? He's a good girl. I think that's pretty impressive. Well, that's stage two of getting a medieval saddle fitted to a horse. Stage one is the measurement, stage two, is having a professional sculpt the shape you need and then we have to test it on her to check that the underpinnings of the saddle, the saddle tree itself, the wood, the canvas and some small amounts of padding and the strapping all work well. And uh, it has worked incredibly well and more importantly Gossamer has been comfortable throughout the whole thing, she hasn't panicked, she has found it very easy to uh, be ridden in that saddle and I've got high hopes of seeing the finished product and showing you that uh, in a few months time.